Good morning and a very warm welcome to Alma Wednesday Online Morning Prayer on Wednesday the 15th of March. It's very good to have your company and to pray together as a partnership. If you don't know me, I'm Sheena Burrell. I'm the Alma Coordinator in London and it's a pleasure to join with you to celebrate and to pray morning prayer together. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 38. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Rebuke me not, O Lord, in your anger. Neither chasten me in your heavy displeasure, for your arrows have stuck fast in me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no peace in my bones because of my sin, for my iniquities have gone over my head. Their weight is a burden too heavy to bear. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. My wounds stink and fester. Because of my foolishness, I am utterly bowed down and brought very low. I go about mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my flesh. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I roar aloud because of the disquiet of my heart. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding. My strength has failed me. The light of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions stand apart from my affliction. My neighbours stand far off. Those who seek after my life lay snares before me. And those who would harm me whisper evil and mutter slander all the day long. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. But I am like one who is deaf and hears not, like one that is dumb and who does not open his mouth. I have become like one who does not hear, and from whose mouth comes no retort. For in you, Lord, I will put my trust. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, let them not triumph over me. Those who exalt over me when my foot slips. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is ever with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those that are my enemies without any cause are mighty, and those who hate me wrongfully are many in number. Those who repay evil for good are against me, because good is what I seek. 
Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Almighty Lord and Saviour, behold with pity the wounds of your people. Do not forsake us, sinful as we are, but for the sake of the passion of your beloved one, Jesus, come quickly to our aid for his mercy's sake. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Our New Testament reading is from John chapter 8, reading from verses 12 to 30. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony, testimony is valid, because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I have come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law, it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. Again he said to them, I am going away and you will search for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn. But the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world that I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realise that I am he and that I do nothing on my own. But I speak these things as the Father instructed me, and the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. The Responsory To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, O oh my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O oh my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. 
the Benedictus. Best blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Shall we pray? Loving Lord, we bring before you the day ahead of us and we ask for your commissioning for all that we are, all that we do and all that we need to do. As we pray for our world and its needs this morning, in the aftermath of Cyclone Freddy, the longest ever hurricane, the call on us in the fifth mark of mission to safeguard the integrity of creation, makes climate change foremost in our minds. Scientists have explained that around the world, climate change makes hurricanes wetter, windier and stronger, and makes oceans absorb much heat from greenhouse gas emissions, and warming seawater, which evaporates its heat energy, transferring it to the atmosphere and fueling ever more destructive storms. In the aftermath of Cyclone Freddy, we pray for our partner Mozambique, especially the provinces of Zambezia, Cephala, Manica, Nampula, Inyumbane and Tet. We have partners who are wet, cold, hungry, despairing. Partners who have seen roofs whipped off their homes, Homes washed away, harvests inundated. We've, they've seen roads turned into rivers and core infrastructure damaged. We think especially of the old and the infirm and the dying at this time, of the pregnant women about to labour and give birth. We do thank you, Lord, for the advance warning of this hurricane and for the planning that many organisations already had in place. These reduced the human casualties when Cyclone Freddy made its second loop through Mozambique. But Father God, we lament the cost, the emotional cost, the financial cost and the health cost, especially with all of that surplus water on the saturated grounds, we fear the escalation of the existing cholera problem, cholera problem in the north. And as we think of our Lent appeal this year, reaching out to assist the traumatised from the conflict of Cabo Delgado, the million internally displaced people, we pray especially for the IDPs and Kellyman where there was an, 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 a reception centre run by UNICEF and ActionAid that was destroyed. A double trauma for these most vulnerable people. We pray for all countries facing climate emergencies, but especially those like Mozambique, 
that UNICEF believes doesn't have the capacity to deal with a disaster of this scale. As we watch and witness from afar, help us to realise our commitments, the commitments made in the COP agreements, commitments we make as fellow Christians, and help us to amend our individual and our corporate lifestyles, to hold those in power to account and to speak truth to power about climate change. And in our prayer cycle today, we give thanks for the Diocese of the Good Shepherd in Angola. We pray for their Vicar General Philomena Tete, and we ask for wisdom and grace and guidance as they prepare for the election of their next bishop in May. Today we're praying for the Luanda North Archdeaconry in Bon Pastor Diocese, for St Michael's and All Angels and Raphael Martins, for St Andrew's Paraiso and Desejo Kikuango, for St Paul and Yao Lombo, and for the Churches of Christ Emmanuel and St Matthew. We also pray for the geographically distant Archdeaconry of Cabinda, the tiny red dot in the north, very north of Mozambique, of Angola, on the map in the prayer card. We pray for Archdeacon Afonso Baveca and the parish of Cabimba and the other priest to Simba Carmona. We entrust this missionary area to you, Lord, and pray that it flourishes. Here in London, we pray for the Hackney Marsh Ministry Team, St Barnabas Homerton, Risen Christ and All Souls Clapton Park, and Christ Church on the Mead. We pray for Stephen Plum, Jenny Bailesford, Roy Tokumbo, Oluwu, Carol Maynard and Catherine Granham, LLMs, Veronica Sharp, LLM and Admin. And specifically, we pray for the parish in Interregnum and for the accessible appointment of a new priest. We hold before you the Huddleston Centre for People with Disabilities. And in the wider Anglican Communion, we pray for the Diocese of Riverina and Bishop Donald Kirk in Australia. May they know your gentle touch on them today. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you so much for joining us today for Alma Online Morning Prayer. It feels very special that we can do this as a partnership and that in London, in Angola and in Mozambique, we pray together for each other in this regular committed way. I really hope you go on to have a very special day today. That people doing the work after Cyclone Freddy know that they are held in this raft of prayer and that you'll join us again next week.
Thank you.